Hey boys and girls, it's Bored with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. And as you can see, I am working on my Santa body, along with all my friends. <laughs> oh, the silliness is on high today. Yep, you're not seeing things. Whatever it is you think you're seeing on my pants and on my slippers, you are seeing right. So, The Gingerbread Man, and this is by Mara Alperin, illustrated by Miriam Latimer. This is a scholastic book. And we have Gingerbread Baby by Jan Brett. What do you think? I think we're going to fill this Santa body with some gingerbread. <laughs> Are these the funniest things you've ever seen? Oh my God, I think so too. All right. The gingerbread man. You know I can't be serious, right? Especially not on Christmas. Come on now. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Let's put this over here so it doesn't fall. Mr. and Mrs. Baker lived all alone. Day after day, they baked big gooey cakes, sweet crumbly pies, and piping hot pastries. But they had no one to share them with, and that made them very sad. One day, Mrs. Baker made a little gingerbread man to cheer them both up. He had jolly jelly buttons and a big icing smile. Dusting the flour from her hands, she popped him in the oven. But to Mr. and Mrs. Baker's surprise, when the tray came out, the gingerbread man leaped up onto the table and began skipping through the sugar. Tee hee hee, you can't catch me, he giggled. But the gingerbread man was too quick for them and he jumped right out the window. Bless my cinnamon stars, cried Mrs. Baker as they chased him over pots under pans and all over the kitchen. Scurry al along the path, the gingerbread man ran into a very hungry cow. You look tasty, mooed the cow, and what fine jelly buttons you have. But the gingerbread man just danced and pranced singing, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran as fast as his gingerbread legs could carry him. With a moo, a great big moo, the cow thundered after the gingerbread man, past the milk churns, through the barn, and around and around the haystack until crash, the haystack tumbled over right on top of the cow. Oh, milkshakes, cried the very dizzy cow.
The gingerbread man scampered up the hill. At the top was a very hungry goat. Good day, bleated the coat. I love munching thistles, but you look even better to eat. But the gingerbread man just whirled and twirled singing, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he zoomed, leaving a trail of gingerbread crumbs behind him. So the goat dashed after the gingerbread man, through the thistles over the gate, and in and out of the apple orchard until smash, the goat butted right into the tree and the apples came toppling down with a thud, thud, thud. Oh, applesauce, cried the goat, rubbing his head. Tee hee hee, laughed the gingerbread man as he frolicked through the meadow. There, dozing in a tree, was a very hungry cat. Hello, meowed the cat. You look perfect. You look like a perfect snack. But the gingerbread man just wiggled and giggled, singing, run, run, fast as you can. You can't catch me? I'm the gingerbread man. And off he was racing down the lane. Licking her lips, the cat chased the gingerbread man across the bush, through the daisies, and toward the pond. The cat leaped up, up, and came down, down, splash, right into the middle of a cold, wet pond. Oh, whiskered, crumbled the very soggy cat. As the gingerbread man ran down the hill, he began to laugh and sing, tee hee, I'm having fun. I've run away from everyone, a curly haired woman, a man in a hat, a cow and a goat and a silly old cat. But when the gingerbread man ran, reached the, <laughs> when the gingerbread man ran, reached the riverbank, he stopped and shivered, Brr, too cold. How do I cross? Just then, a fox appeared. Hello, little gingerbread man, he grinned. Maybe I can help you. Just climb on my tail and I'll carry you across. Oh, it's getting good, it's getting good. Brr, too chilly, the gingerbread man squeaked as the fox paddled into the river. Then why don't you climb upon my back, asked the fox. Brr, too wet, squeaked the gingerbread man as the water swirled at his feet. Climb onto my head, smirked the fox and the gingerbread man. <sighs> scrambled up. But the water rose higher still, so the gingerbread man climbed to the top of the fox's nose. <gasps> Tee hee hee, they'll never catch me, he cried, just as. The fox tossed the gingerbread man up, up, up in the air and opened his mouth wide. <gasps> Snap! And that was the end of the gingerbread man. Oh dear, sighed Mrs. Baker. What a naughty gingerbread man he was. I'm still hungry, mooed the cow. Me too, bleated the goat. So am I, meowed the cow. Then Mr. Baker said, Let's all go and bake something else together. So they all trotted back to the bakery to mix and stir cakes and pastries and pies, but no more gingerbread men. It was a fantastic feast 
and with their three new friends, Mr. and Mrs. Baker were never lonely ever again. And that is the end of The Gingerbread Man. Ooh, that took an interesting twist. Hmm. I do not own the rights to that book that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And you know what? We got more gingerbread babies on the way. It was cold outside. It was warm inside. A fine day for gingerbread, Maddie thought. Maddie's mother put the big blue bowl on the table and lit the stove. Maddie took down a warm looking cookbook with old fashioned writing on the cover. He opened it up to the page that said, Gingerbread Boy. They measured and mixed. Maddie rolled the dough into the shape of a gingerbread boy and they popped him in the oven. Bake a full eight minutes, no more, no less. Do not peek, the recipe said. Maddie listened to the clock. Tick tock, tick tock. One minute, two minutes, three, four, five. Maddie couldn't wait any longer. He opened the oven door to take a peek. Instead, of a gingerbread boy out jumped a gingerbread baby. He pranced around the big blue bowl. I am the gingerbread baby fresh from the pan. If you want me, catch me if you can. Maddie's mother reached for the gingerbread baby to put him back into the oven, but he ran all around the kitchen. The door opened and in came Maddie's father. What's that delicious smell, he asked, as the gingerbread baby tumbled through his legs and outside into the yard. He ran by the tabby cat. She twirled her tail and sprang at him. They rumbled and tumbled, but the gingerbread baby came out on top. He ran towards the garden wall. The dog caught a whiff of tasty gingerbread and sniffed along behind him. The gingerbread baby was halfway up when the dog caught up. He barked and barked as the gingerbread baby climbed over the wall. Maddie was still inside. He heard his mother and father yelling. He heard a cat meowing and a dog barking and he heard the gingerbread baby shouting, catch me if you can. Maddie opened up the warm looking cookbook, worn looking cookbook for the second time. Meanwhile, the gingerbread baby wheeled on down the path and into the barn. The goats looked up as he somersaulted across their backs. The last one tried to catch him, but the gingerbread baby was too fast. Martha and Madeline were standing by the well when the gingerbread baby stopped to take a drink. They looked at each other and winked. Martha started to talk to him while Madeline tiptoed up behind him with the bucket, but they couldn't fool the gingerbread boy. They couldn't fool the gingerbread baby.
He took a braid from Martha and a braid from Madeline and tied them into a knot and ran down the road. Back in the house, Maddie stirred and mixed and rolled the dough. He shaped it, put it in the pan and into the oven. Tick, tock, tick. Eight long minutes. This time, he didn't peek. I will catch him if I can, Maddie said to himself. As he was bouncing along, the gingerbread boy saw a farm wagon just ahead. He jumped in and settled down for a ride next to a mama pig. The smell of gingerbread was too much for her. She tossed him high in the air, closed her eyes and opened her mouth. But the gingerbread boy twisted in the air and came down hard on her porty snout. I am the gingerbread baby, too quick for the mother and the father, too quick for the cat, the dog, the goats, too clever for Martha and Madeline, too smart for the mama pig. Who's left? Catch me if you can. Feeling snug, the gingerbread boy strolled along by himself until he came to a bridge that crossed over the village. Just as he got to the middle, he heard running feet behind him and saw a crowd of villagers ahead of him. The gingerbread baby was trapped. He jumped up onto the railing, backflipped through the air and landed on a chunk of ice floating down the river. The ice bobbed along with Gingerbread Baby dancing on top and singing in a loud voice. Look at me and what do you see? The best Gingerbread Baby ever. Until his feet got cold and he jumped ashore. Who was that watching from the trees? It was the fox. He crept up behind the gingerbread baby, ready to eat him up, but the fox couldn't help himself. He licked his chops, smack, smack. The gingerbread baby heard him and ran as fast as he could. Just when the fox was catching up, the gingerbread baby saw the milk and cheese man with his can of milk. The perfect hiding place, he thought. He lifted the lid and lowered himself inside. He was so pleased that he sang at the top of his gingerbread voice. Ha ha, he he, you'll never find me. I'm the gingerbread baby. Catch me if you can. The milk and cheese man heard the gingerbread baby's voice. Who is meddling with my milk, he shouted and lifted the lid, but the gingerbread baby was ready. He jumped up and tweaked his nose. <clears throat> now the milk and cheese man the fox, the villagers, the mama pig, Martha, Madeline, bleeding goats, the barking dog, the meowing cat, the father, the mother, were all after gingerbread baby and getting closer, and he knew it. The brash baby was not as peppy and proud as he had been. He sniffled a familiar smell and followed his nose into the woods. He couldn't believe what he saw. There in the middle of the clearing was a gingerbread house, frosted with sugar, covered with candy, and doors with peppermint handles wide open. 
the gingerbread baby clapped his hands with glee and ran inside. In a tick-tock tick, everyone arrived in the clearing, but all they found were a few bits of frosting, a peppermint candy, and some crumbs. The father exclaimed, the gingerbread baby has finally met his match. I wonder who it was, the mother said. Let's go home and tell Maddie. I was just looking back at the pages, seeing when he saw the gingerbread house. Hello, Maddie, his father said when they got home. We never did catch the gingerbread baby. All we found were some crumbs in the snow. I see you have been busy, his mother said, looking at the gingerbread house Maddie was holding. Too bad we never caught the gingerbread baby. Too bad, said Maddie. Only Maddie could hear the tiny, tiny voice from inside the gingerbread house. <laughs> I'm the little gingerbread baby, lucky as can be, to be living in the house that Maddie made for me. Good one, boys and girls, good one. And that is the end of Gingerbread Baby. It is Bored with Miss Reynolds, Better Off Reading Every Day. I don't own the rights to these two books that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And they both had an interesting ending, didn't they? Hmm. The magic of today's stories are, as you can see, I am working on my Santa body, which means that I have been consuming a tremendous amount of food. I haven't had any gingerbread cookies though, and these I can't have because they are actually salt and pepper shakers. Can you see them? I have had these for quite some time. See, salt and pepper and they were perfect for today's story. I love it when I get to share things like this with you boys and girls. I got Santa, I got the trees, I got cookies. I got all kinds of shenanigans going on here back at board headquarters. I hope you are having a fantastic, fantastic Christmas. I hope you got everything you didn't want. And I also hope that in all your troubles when you are out here having a good time, you remember that I shared my special, special, special slippers with you. Do you see them? I'm going to try to let you see them better. Do you see that? There they go. There they go. <laughs> better off reading every day one book at a time having nothing but fun putting a little knowledge in your head a little love in your heart a lot of love in your heart and hopefully making you laugh till you what you know the answer <laughs> 
I'll see you again really soon. My gingerbread men, boys, girls, and I are gonna go out here and have some Christmas fun. Bye.